Good morning and happy Monday. Welcome to this very brief lesson on how to turn fractions into percents. So you'll notice that it's all coming together. We've been working with fractions and decimals, decimals and fractions, percents and decimals, decimals and percents. So now we're going to tie it all together and we're actually going to go from a fraction. We're going to be able to take a fraction and turn it into a percent. So there are some methods where you can look at a fraction and be like, oh, well, bam, I know what that is as a percent. But for today, we're going to look at this method where, unfortunately, you can't take a nonstop flight from fraction to percent. We're going to have a little layover in the land of decimals. And what I promise this will help you do is feel more confident working um, with fractions and decimals and percents all together. So let's say I have the fraction... Hmm. Okay, we're going to start with a, a challenging one. Let's start with one eighth. So instead of just jumping from one eighth into a percent, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this fraction into a decimal. And the reason being is that it's going to be so much easier to turn that decimal into a percent because all we have to do is just move the decimal place over two times because we're going to be multiplying by 100. So this is actually a good review of turning a fraction into a decimal. So eight does not go into one, but it goes into 10 one time. And I subtract. And 10 minus eight is two. Oh, MG, I have a remainder, but it's all good because I add a zero and I drop it down. Okay, eight can go into 22 times and I get 16. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get another remainder, but I'm not gonna freak out because I can drop a zero down. Well, bam, I have 40. So eight goes into 45 times. Yes, satisfying. So here's what I have as a decimal. I have 125 thousandths. So from here, it's so easy to turn this into a percent because remember, when you're going from a decimal to a percent, all you do is you move the decimal place over once, twice. You move the decimal place over two times, you are multiplying times 100, and when that happens, you get 12.5%. Look at that. All right, let's do one that is maybe not so gnarly with the division. Let's try four-fifths. Okay, so I'm going to have my layover in decimalville here. I'm going to find out what this is as a decimal. Well, five doesn't go into four, but it goes into 48 times. Okay, so four fifths as a decimal is eight tenths. But remember, to turn a decimal into a percent, we move the decimal place over twice. Once, twice. Wa-bam. Ooh, and what goes in that little empty space? A zero. So what is four fifths as a percent? It is... 80%. I'm going to do one more example. Ooh, satisfying. Satisfying. Oh my gosh, am I going to erase the whole thing? Well, now I have to, I guess. Okay. Let's do another example. All right. What happens when we have a fraction? Let's do a I just changed my mind last minute. Let's do 17 25ths. Okay, 17 25ths. I'm going to turn this into a decimal first. So 25 into 17. So again, I'm, I'm going to turn this. Oh, it's not focusing because it's being ridiculous. My apologies, fam. My apologies. <laughs> And I just broke my tripod, so I'm just gonna hold it. Ooh, I'm gonna hold this for this last example. Technology, am I right? Okay, so 25 does not go into 17, but it can go into 170. Okay, so four, let's see, 25 times four is 100, and then 150. At 150 is gonna be the closest. So six times. Everyone good? Everyone good with that? Six times? Okay, that gives me 150. So I'm going to subtract. I have a remainder, but I'm going to drop a zero down. Okay, 
So 25 goes into 200. If you think about it, there are four quarters in a dollar. That means there's eight quarters in two dollars, which means 25 goes into 200 eight times perfectly. And also, if you're never sure, if you're just not sure, hey, there is no shame in just doing the calculations out. If you are not sure how many times a value can go into a dividend, make sure you just do the multiplication out. There's no shame, no shame. Okay, so we just found out what 17 25ths is as a decimal. And just as a reminder, to turn a decimal into a percent, we move the decimal place over once, twice, over here. So, oop, I just got ahead of myself. 68% is our answer. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I'll do one more. Uh, ooh, I got one. Let's do 1 50th because I'm crazy like that. That's a really small number. So how many times does 50 go into one? It sure doesn't. So I put a decimal. Well, check it out. 50 doesn't even go into 10. So I need to put a zero and I'm going to add a zero here. 50 can go into 100 twice. There we go. Okay. So 1 50th as a decimal is 2 hundredths. To turn this decimal into a percent, we're going to move the decimal place once, twice, okay, over to the right because we're multiplying by 100, and that means that 1 50th is 2%. Okay, that's it. That's it and that's all, fam. Have a happy Monday, and I hope to see everyone in office hours at least for a second just to say hi because I'm going really crazy here by myself. Okay, 